Hi everybody, this is Emily with the NetZoom team, here to show you how to visualize your data in 2D and 3D using NetZoom. With so much data being collected from your data center every day, parsing and interpreting the data can seem a daunting task. NetZoom's robust 2D and 3D modeling allows you to visually visit your data center from the comfort of your desk, delivering device information, space, power, temperature, and other metrics along with the devices and racks. NetZoom's asset visualization tools make it easy to detect patterns, trends, and outliers in your data center to keep everything running at maximum efficiency. First, let's log into NetZoom. Enter your NetZoom application server URL in the web browser. Then enter your username and password. Let's navigate to the Data Center feature under the Data Center menu. The Infrastructure Explorer displays our Data Center infrastructure in a tree view, with the site at the top level, followed by buildings, rooms, floors, and finally, logical locations like zones and rows. Let's look at this room our data center floor. As you can see, when we select the room raised floor of our data center floor room, we are presented with a 2D representation of the room with our individual racks and rows, as well as zones A, B, and C, and the utility zone. If we select the room raised floor and click the power button, show power, we will see that each rack and row is highlighted based on power consumption. The darker yellow and orange colors are closer to the power threshold for those racks, rows, and zones. You can see the legend for the colors down here at the bottom of the pane. Now let's look at a 3D representation of one of our zones. We'll select Zone A. Select Zone A and click the 3D button. As you can see, this shows the same view of our data center floor in full 3D with every rack in the zone as well as the devices installed on them. Let's examine a row of these racks more closely. Click row A100. As you can see, we have six racks in this row and click the 3D button. We're now looking at this row of racks in 3D. Not only do we get to see the racks themselves, but also the devices installed on each of these racks. They're even labeled for our convenience. When we click the temperature button down here, you'll see that our racks will be overlaid with their temperature information. Notice the colors. The temperatures closer to the rack's threshold will be shown in darker red, while lower temperatures are shown in green. NetZoom includes buttons to overlay power, temperature, and space. You can also select any field you want to overlay data by clicking the Select Data Fields button. The capacity data form will pop up with a drop down list allowing you to pick any parameters you want to overlay onto your 3D representation. You can change these at any time. You can rotate these racks or zoom in and out using your mouse or using the buttons on the bottom left of the display. When we look at a single rack, our visualization becomes even more robust. Select the rack and click the 3D button. By selecting a single rack in 3D and clicking one of our visualization buttons, we can see data for every device installed on that rack. You can also download a screenshot of the 3D view by clicking the Save button. And if we click the Configuration tab, we can easily see where everything is mounted on the rack. Remember, this view can also be downloaded as a PDF file using the Save button. These NetZoom shapes are also available in Microsoft Visio using the NetZoom Visio add-in. We'll go over the NetZoom Visio add-in in another video. That covers the basics of data visualization using NetZoom. Remember, data visualization is a very broad topic, and we've only scratched the surface of what NetZoom can do. Please check out our other videos for more tips on how to use the NetZoom product. And if you're interested in trying NetZoom for your own data center, visit NetZoom.com to schedule a free demo.